As a world leader in the HVAC industry, Carrier has always taken the responsibility to provide technologically advanced, sustainable, and energy efficient equipment solutions for a wide variety of applications. While historically, Carrier clearly has an enviable list of industry firsts, the most recent example of our leadership position was the design and release of the industry's first vane axial EcoBlue technology indoor fan system. Integrated into our three to six ton weather series packaged rooftop units, its features include a direct drive, electrically commutated motor, or ECM with no fan belts, no pulleys, no drive shaft, and no bearings, which dramatically translates into 75% fewer moving parts, higher reliability, lower sound, and perhaps most importantly, increased energy efficiency. Additionally, it has up to two inches external static pressure and is 40% more efficient than traditional forward curve belt drive fan systems. To illustrate this, let's start by looking at a typical forward curve belt drive fan system. Typically, these systems see an increase in energy usage when the external static pressure increases. The same is true with the vane axial fan system, but with most notably, much less energy consumption. So as a comparison between these two fan systems, the new vane axial fan system saves substantial energy throughout the external static fan spectrum and for years thereafter. Today, we are very excited to announce that we are continuing the vane axial and EcoBlue technology tradition by integrating its technology into other sized models. Each new carrier Weathermaker Series 4850 FC and future Weathermaster 4850 GC units with the Vane Axial EcoBlue fan system represents a quantum leap in HVAC technology. Advancements that have been engineered in to not only dramatically improve efficiency, performance, reliability, and serviceability, but to also help achieve the 2023 Department of Energy's Efficiency Standards target preemptively and successfully. As most of you know, the U.S. Department of Energy is requiring higher operating efficiencies on packaged rooftops starting January 1, 2023 and is using the Integrated Energy Efficiency Ratio, or IEER, as its only main metric. But achieving this new energy efficiency requirement is no simple task, as it's 15% higher than today's minimum efficiency levels. In fact, when you go back prior to 2018, this new efficiency level requirement will be nearly 30% higher than then. Though high, all of us here at Carrier support this initiative and are meeting the many challenges to keep packaged rooftops small and energy efficient. It's important to note that although this new DOE efficiency standard doesn't take effect until January 1, 2023, Carrier and its vast customer base have asked for our advanced EcoBlue technology and all its benefits to be implemented now. And we couldn't agree more. So let's take an even closer look at the 48FC's gas heat electric cooling models. Today's minimum IEER cooling efficiency requirements for gas heat electric cooling units by size are shown here. While the minimum IEER cooling efficiency requirements for January 1, 2023 are to put things into proper perspective, these new minimum efficiency levels will be higher than those your current Weathermaster 4850 HCQ models with two-speed fan control that you have today. Carrier's new 48FC units will be slightly higher with 
These new 4850 FC units are currently being released in gas heat with electric cooling, electric heat with electric cooling, and cooling only with field optional electric heat units from 7.5 to 12.5 ton sizes with R410A refrigerant and will be ideal for either replacement or new construction applications. It's important to note as we release newer models and sizes like heat pumps and larger sizes of 15 plus tons that they too will see an increase in efficiencies and use the vane axial fan technology. But beyond all its technology, beyond all its energy efficiency and operational advantages, beyond all its customer-centric features, the new Weather Series 4850 FC units symbolize the future of rooftop unit evolution. And, as you should expect, it's from Carrier.